Welcome to Easy Elite English. Two common ailments, two common diseases which you can easily diagnose at home. And they don't need any complicated procedures, no complicated tests. Simply at home, you can find out whether you have these two diseases or not. So, two very common ailments which you can diagnose at home without any complex instruments and without any special skill or training. But one word of caution, do not resort to self-medication. This is intended to create awareness so that first you don't panic, it's curable with proper treatment and second you don't neglect your visit, your clinic or hospital without delay. The only purpose of this video is to create awareness so that people don't panic. People should realize that it's perfectly curable with proper treatment and also people should not neglect. They should visit a clinic or a hospital without delay. So protect yourself and protect your family but do not self-medicate and do not neglect because your doctor is the only person who can guide you. But the only purpose of this video is to create general awareness how to diagnose at home two very common ailments. The first we are talking about pneumonia. Pneumonia and related infections like COPD that is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, RPI, respiratory tract infection, pneumonia, chest infections, lung infections. So pneumonia or other lung infection or respiratory tract infection. You only need one instrument that is a wristwatch. Of course, you instead of wristwatch, you can also use uh, a timer from your mobile your mobile phone, your Android system or smartphone or even your smart watch will have a timer so you can use that timer but if you don't have you can also use an ordinary wrist watch and uh, you don't need any complicated instrument except a wrist watch or a timer which you can get in your mobile you can diagnose whether you have pneumonia or chest or lung infection or respiratory tract, tract infection so respiratory tract infection, pneumonia, chest and lung infection, the only instrument you will need is a wristwatch. Now let us see how this wristwatch can diagnose pneumonia and lung infection. Count the pulse for one minute. Count your pulse rate. Your pulse rate for one minute or count it for 30 seconds and double the value. So the number of pulse beat or the heartbeat which you count that is called the heart rate. So all you have to do is to count the pulse that is uh, at your wrist. You can feel the pulse at your wrist. So count the pulse rate for either 1 minute or for 30 seconds and then multiply by 2. So you get the number of pulse per minute. So that is the heart rate per minute. Count the breathing per minute. That is the breathing rate. Breathing means one inhaling and one exhaling together will be one breath. One inhaling that is once taking enough air and one exhaling that is giving out of air that is one breath. So one breathing means one inhaling and one exhaling. So one breath. How many breaths in one minute? So that is the breathing rate. Now this should be done in a relaxed and sitting position, not after physical strain or not after mental stress. What you are using? Only a wristwatch. Check out the heart rate, check out the breathing rate, you are using a wristwatch. You can also use a timer in your smartphone. Anyway, you are counting the pulse and the breathing rate. 
Normally, the ratio, if you divide heart rate by breathing rate, would be around 4. For instance, if you have 15 breathings per minute, it would be 60 pulse rate or 60 per minute. If you are having 18 breathing rate, then it would be 72 and 20, it would be 80. Approximately, instead of 72, it could be 71 or 70 or 73. Don't worry about that. It should be approximately 4. So, 15 multiplied by 4, 60. 18 multiplied by 4, 72. So, like this, it would be approximate. It could be 79 instead of 80. It could be 62 instead of 60. Don't worry. It would be approximately around 4 when you divide heart rate, that is a pulse, if you divide it by breathing rate. A gross value below this ratio, gross value, instead of 4, you may get 3.9. Don't worry about that. If it is um, much under this ratio, like 100 pulse and 40 breathings, giving you 100 by 42.5, where is 4 is the ideal value, you are getting 2.5, a gross distortion, that is due to increased breathing rate, most probably would signify chest or respiratory or lung infection, such as pneumonia or bronchitis. If you have a higher breathing rate, but not a very high pulse rate, and the ratio is not coming to 4, it's coming to 2.5, it's coming to 2, it could be even 100 by 50, that's 2. If there's a gross a distortion of this ratio with a higher or faster breathing rate, then it's probably lung infection, pneumonia or bronchitis. But as we said, do not panic and do not delay and do not self-medicate go to the hospital or the clinic immediately. <clears throat> there is not the time to neglect. Again, there is not the time to self-medicate. This is not the time to get panicked. But just be calm and visit your hospital or clinic for proper treatment. Typhoid or enteric fever. Now, here we need two instruments. One is a timer or a wristwatch. And one is a thermometer. Now, this thermometer, it's an ordinary clinical thermometer. It could be mercury thermometer or digital. This is almost found in every home. Almost every home will have this thermometer. The thermometer and a watch. These are the only two things you are going to need to diagnose typhoid or enteric fever. Use the thermometer to read the patient's temperature and count the pulse rate per minute using this wristwatch. If the temperature is above 100, say 102 or 103, the pulse rate must be approximately 100 plus 18. It is 100 plus 2, so 2 into 9, 18. 100 plus 3, 3 into 9, 27. 100 plus 27. That is 8 to 10 or average 9 beats extra for each 1 degree F, above 100. Above 100, if it is 101, you will add about 9. If it is 102, you will add 18. If it is 103, you will add 27. So, 100 plus 18 for 100 plus 2 temperature, 100 plus 27 for 100 plus 3 temperature, 100 plus 9 for 100 plus 1 temperature. So add about 9 pulse beats or 8 to 10 for each 1 degree F above 100. If the pulse rate is much too below this, for instance a pulse rate of 110 for a temperature 103, 103 means 100 plus 3, so 100 plus 3, so 100 for 3 you add 3 into 9 27, so it should be about 127. So it could be 125, 124 or 128. But if it is 110, a slower pulse rate compared to temperature. And there is also abdominal pain and altered bowel motion. It could be typhoid fever. What is called a relative bradycardia means 
a slower heart rate disproportionate to the temperature temperature is 103 so 100 plus 3 that means the pulse rate should be 100 plus 3 into 9 27 so approximately 127 anything 124 125 126 128 but it is 110 very slow sluggish pulse rate then that could be a sign of typhoid fever. Again, as they say, this is not the time to panic and this is not the time to neglect. Go to the hospital or the clinic without de delay. At once visit your hospital or your clinic for treatment. Do not neglect and do not panic. Now, public awareness videos are not a substitute for expert medical care and advice. You must seek Qualified professional advice from a clinic or a hospital. This doctor is the only person who can tell you what you must do and what you must not do. This doctor is the only person who can give you the right suggestion and right medicine. So do not resort to self-treatment or self-medication. But at the same time, do not panic and do not neglect. Visit a clinic or a hospital and visit the doctor for your necessary advice. That was Easy Elite English. We will be coming back with more videos. Like us, share us and subscribe to the channel. Till we meet again, goodbye and be in good health.